guys and welcome back. This time we're going to be building a model snow fence and also adding a bit of winter to your layout or display or diorama. My friends here at the Hunter Line Company came out with this really simple easy little kit for snow fencing. Snow fencing is something if you don't live around winter time you might have never seen in your life. Now the snow fence from Hunter Line come with interesting information and certainly some photographs. What snow fence does is try to keep snow from filling in areas you don't want it to be. Now Hunterline is well known for giving you lots of tips and hints and stuff like that so there's lots of extras. Well when it comes it looks like it just well a bunch of sticks that's all it looks like and when you're gonna be doing repetitive consistent accurate cuts there is nothing better than the chopper tube. One of my favorite aspects of these kits from Hunterline Company are the blueprint type pictures that come along with it and what I do is I build these models directly on these blueprints put on double-sided tape to start and then you lay the pieces right on the double-sided tape make sure the tape is everywhere there might be some glue and then you put one piece on next piece on and build it from the bottom up and of course you gotta have lots of handy helpers to hold this stuff together when you go to take it off the paper be very very careful these subsections are not very strong yet until at least the glue dries really well and then you can continue to build right on top of it what do you do next well you build some more of the other parts once again building right on top of the blueprints try to make it as consistent as possible and when you get done with one what do you do you pull it off you build another one okay now we got the backs on here you can see they're starting to sit up straight you don't want these to be absolutely consistent because snow fences are never very consistent. They're just put up in a hurry to try to keep the snow from drifting in. Of course, I'm going to color these kits. I have a wide assortment of the Hunter Lion colors, and I came up with this Cordova Brown, the one that I decided to use. Then the decision was, well, what am I going to do with these snow fences? I decided to make a little display to see how it works. When I use this foam, foam insulation, I like to put a hard casing over it and I like to use this Durham water putty solution. Works great, it's really fast, easy, sets up in no time. Of course I want to add a little track to the display. I like to put some Elmer's glue down first, lay the track right on top of the Elmer's. Then you put your ballasting on right on top of it. So you're setting the track and ballasting all at one time. Of course, you want to make sure that you keep everything in place while the glue's setting up. Next step, well, we want to add some scenic stuff. So once again, back to the Elmers. I like to use what I like to call slop. This is all the leftover stuff from different projects. Once it sets up, you knock it off. Of course, what do you do with the stuff that comes off? Put it back in the slop container to use next time. What do you think? Looks pretty good. It's really fast, really easy. Next step, I decided to add telephone wires, some telephone poles. Personally, I hate to see telephone poles without the wires on. Now what I'm doing is setting the snow fence into place glued them lightly. Now my personal favorite is putting all the extra stuff on. All the tidbits, bits and pieces. Time to start adding the snow. Start out by adding club snow. Generally speaking there's always going to be some old snow that's been building up. Notice how it's all clumpy there. I let it set up for a while. Next step is to add on some new snow. New snow is generally inconsistent around, so you put a little on, have a look at it, put a little on, have a look at it. You don't want to have too much of the new snow on, you want to be able to see the ground. Well, we're almost done with this. What do you think? Does it look a little bit more like winter? I certainly like the way that it came out. If you want to add some interest to your display or your layout, add some winter. You don't have to stop at just snow fence. 
There are many different products that are on the market to make snow. I like the ones that are a little bit sparkly. Here you see one of my mountains. Of course there's going to be more snow at the top so you start out fairly heavy at the top. As you're working down the side of the mountain start to feather it out until you finally get to the bottom that doesn't have any snow at all. What do you think? Look like winter? If you don't like it you can always add more snow to it. If you think there's too much snow you can always vacuum it off. Well thanks for joining me. I'll see you again soon. Bye guys.